Hey guys, this is CG Animator, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Displace Modifier in Blender. So before I get started, please comment and rate this video, and subscribe to my page if you like my stuff. Add me as a friend if you need a friend, or like my stuff and just want to add me as a friend, I'll always accept. And be sure to check out my other videos. Okay, and that's it. Okay, so you want to delete the cube, and add a plane. I'm going to edit mode tab, W subdivide. Let's do that a couple times. There, yeah, uh, scale it up one more time. Okay, that's good. I'm going to go to materials and add a new material. And the material is fine. I'm here to texture and add a new texture. Texture type. Um, you can do whatever you want, but I suggest clouds. Hard noise. And noise depth six. Uh, make it about point three. That's good. Now go here. Add modifier. Displace. Texture. Let's see what we named it. X. We'll call this one disc. Texture. Disc. Disc for di uh, displace. And as you can see it messed it up and what it did is it added the clouds texture as a real bumpy texture to it so I set it smooth a little bit turn the strength down a little and it can't really like animate it unless we parent it to an object and this is the same as the array modifier tutorial sorry about my voice O V empty. How did how you do that is you just go to this last one which is local and change it to object, and then add the object you wanted to which is the empty. The name right here. Its name is here. Or you press N. Sorry. N N comes up here. So if we move this, as you can see, it animates. We move this very slowly. It could, see, it could pass for water or something if you give it the right colors and textures. And I'll just show you real quick. I location. I'm gonna go up to frame 60 G Y. That's good right there. Only move it a little bit. See? And I'm gonna make it keep looping. Like it's the same thing as the our other as my other tutorial. Tab V. Make sure to select all. Curve. Spin mode. And that's it. That's all there is to it. It's a really cool effect. Uh, in case you don't wanna do a fluid simulation, you can just do that, and it saves a lot of time. So thanks for watching, please comment and rate this tutorial, and be sure to watch some more, thanks for watching.